Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a one brand tutorial with the Makeup Design Mud Makeup. Pretty much all of the makeup is under $10 or around $10, so it is really affordable and you may have seen it in your local Woolworths. They are coming out with a brand new range in January, so if it's not in stores now, it should be in there in the next couple of weeks. So I have used some of those products today, which is really exciting, and I tested the brand out for the first time. So let's get into the makeup. <laughs> you know what's funny? I went to pick up a few things today that I did didn't have for this tutorial. As I was checking out, the lady's like, oh, this makeup's actually really good. And I was like, oh, cool, I'm testing it out today. She's like, I love the lipstick. It lasts really well. I'm not actually wearing it today, but it's really good. And I'm like, thanks for letting me know. So I'm really excited to try this stuff out because I know you guys love seeing more affordable makeup used in videos. And obviously this one is probably only Australian specific. I'm gonna test it out and see what I think. I have so much stuff here, but I'm just gonna do it like a normal face. Okay, so the first product is the Skin Perfecting Primer. I've got to say the packaging doesn't look cheap. Like it looks really, really nice. This is like a glass bottle and it's 30 mils. It comes with a pump. It's really, really nice packaging. So I'm really impressed with that so far. So I'm going to take some primer. Now this is just like a moisturizing primer. It's not like a silicon based one. Like it doesn't leave my skin feeling super smooth. So hopefully it doesn't make my makeup last quite well during the day. Next up we have the long lasting foundation in the color 03 cream beige. So this one claims to be long lasting, blurs imperfections to give all day a natural looking coverage. I am filming a first impressions on this one so that one will probably be out maybe in a few weeks so check back to see what I thought of this throughout the day but I'm going to apply it now. Again the packaging is really nice. The pump is kind of cool like it comes with 28 mil which is a little bit less than the standard. Hopefully the color matches me. I am quite tanned. One of the new products is an actual sponge. So now you can buy these at the supermarket. So it's a makeup blender. Provides streak free application of foundation, powder, primer and cream blush. How cool is that? So I've wet mine already. It is quite like it feels different to the beauty blender. It feels like a lot more a lot more bouncy, like spongy. I don't know how to describe it. But I think that this is great that you can pick this up from the supermarket. It seems to, I feel like, hold a little bit more water than the Beauty Blender. Like it's, it's quite damp. Okay, now this looks really light when it goes on, but I think it does oxidize. So I'm just gonna take my Beauty Blender, and that was like one full pump. And as you can see, I have a lot of blemishes today. That would probably be medium coverage, but that blended out so well for my first go at it. I hope it does oxidize and go a little bit darker though. Okay, so there's two layers. Next we have the Cover Up Concealer. I'm using the color Ivory. Now this is one of their new range products. Previously they just had this concealer, but now they've got this one in the range. They do actually have this color correcting concealer, which is really awesome. I might just use this um, corrector down the bottom here, but it's good to know that you can get these color correcting products at the supermarket now. So I'm just gonna apply that underneath my eyes, down my nose, forehead, chin. I feel like this is quite watery, so it'll be interesting to see what the coverage is like because it feels quite thin. I'm just gonna take my beauty sponge, blend that out. Blends out pretty easily. Wow, that's actually a lot better than what I thought it would be. That's really good actually. You can still see my redness like poking through, but I didn't expect it to be this good. I didn't expect this sponge to be this good, to be honest. It's really, really good. Um, the concealer is $6. The sponge is going to be $8. I think everything is just on sale at my local Woolworths at the moment because this in the booklet says that it's $9, which is still really affordable for a foundation. This color correcting palette is $8. I'll try and say the prices as I go along because I honestly thought everything was $5 because it all says $4.50 on the thing. I'm so terrible at opening these things. <laughs> this is so cute. I love it. So I'm going to take this salmon color. You guys see the difference in that? 
That's just covered those dark circles up so much better. I might just go in with a little bit more concealer. See if I can't cover that up a little bit better. Just highlight that area. To try and cover up these, I'm gonna use this concealer. I got the color Natural Beige. I have two of the pressed powder. I have ivory and beige. I'm gonna use ivory to set my under eye area and beige to set the rest of my face. So I'm gonna use my sponge to pick up the product and set that. That actually looks really good. The color isn't very light. I probably wouldn't call this ivory, like it's not super pale or anything like that. So if you do have very fair skin, this probably would not be light enough for you. Now taking beige. I feel like using the sponge just makes it look flawless with the powder. That actually looks quite flawless, but it does look a little bit cakey. So just keep that in mind. Like I did really set it quite well because I didn't want it to go oily. <laughs> Eyebrow pencil and the brow shaping powder. I'm interested to see how this one works. This is one of their new products. Okay, so it comes in like this little thing. So I think what you do now, I have the color brunette. Ooh. I like, that's really easy to use. Has a tiny, tiny little bit of fallout and I'll probably need to clean up the tail a little bit. The color is quite nice as well. I feel like it matches my roots really nicely. My only tip would be use a quite light hand with this product, just because it can go quite dark, unless you want really bold brows. I don't have an eye base, so I'm just going to use some concealer. So I have the Smoky Eyeshadow Palette. This one retails for $12. So it just looks like this. So I think we've got three matte shades and then a really shimmery one and then like a velvet finish. It's great that it comes with the matte shades. I love that. I do need a transitional color because I just need one. This is a product that I'm really excited about actually. Defining Contour and Highlight Palette. This is so cool. Like. So this one's $10. Oh, I should have used that to set my under eyes. The pants are quite small, but for the price, I think it's really, really good. The colors look great. I, I did a really bad swatch, like an actual really bad swatch. You've got a bronzing color, a contour color, a highlight, and you've got a banana powder. I'm just gonna take some of the banana and see if I can't brighten up that. Now I've probably got way too much product there. Now I am going to take the bronzing color just through my crease there. I just need some kind of a warm toned transitional color. Next up, I'm gonna take this middle gray color. This is gonna be a cool toned smoky eye. And the shadows are quite powdery, but they, they blend quite nicely. Well, the one that I've used so far. Next, I'm gonna take this navy blue color. The pigmentation's a little bit hard to, to get with the shadows. I'm just gonna have to try and layer it up. It would probably work better with a base, depending on how dark you want it to go. Taking the navy blue on the lower lash line. I'm gonna try and take this one on the lid, see if it works out. I uh, pencil brush, I'm just gonna bring in that blue. It's just had a bit of fallout there. So the shadows are a little bit tricky to work with. For me, the pigmentation just isn't quite there. There's a bit of fallout with them. But overall, you can see that I've still created a smoky eye with the palette. Just in the center, I'm gonna take some of that silver. I might just use some of this darker color. I'm gonna 
clean that up. Okay, so I've got a black eye pencil, so I'm going to line my tight line and waterline. That's actually like really creamy. Then I have the liquid liner. It doesn't have the most precise tip, but, but it hasn't bled or anything like that, which is good. So it's just one of the felt tip liners. I have the high definition waterproof mascara up next. Okay, so this is the, the wand. That separates them really nicely. I've had so much trouble with mascaras lately. Whatever mascara I use, it just clumps my lashes together, but I hope you can see that that's like separating them really nicely. For me, I have to wear waterproof mascara because it just comes off like up here or down here during the day. I hope you can see like how good that looks. This is, yeah. Every new mascara I try just clumps. And to find one that doesn't clump and it's only $5 and it's waterproof. I think this is gonna be my new fave mascara. Love this for sure. Okay, so I'm gonna bronze and contour with these two colors here. Just mixing them together at this stage and just using this Sigma small contour brush. I picked up this blush in Rose. It says it's a three in one face sculptor so it has like a little ombre effect but I'm just gonna use these bottom two colors. It might be a little bit too light for me. This is just an e.l.f. small stipple brush. I'm gonna take the highlighter Wow, I did not expect it to be like that. That's really, really nice. I hope it's coming up like nice on camera. I know my mascara is like gone everywhere. <laughs> That's a beautiful glow. I wasn't expecting it to be this nice. Isn't that funny? Like these products, like this is the first time that I'm trying them out and for their price, I keep saying it, I wasn't expecting it to be this good. I wasn't expecting it to be that nice. This stuff is better than some of the stuff that I have like high end or from Priceline and this is available in your supermarket. Wow. <laughs> I have three full color lip lacquers to try out. I have Wild Mauve, Vintage Pink. One, oh, I have this one too. This is Pink Champagne. This Pink Champagne one does have a bit of shimmer in it. It's really nude. I'm just gonna hold it on. I do want to put some lashes on as well, so I'm going to be right back with the lashes. Okay, so I've just used Red Cherry number 43, I think these ones are. I can see that the uh, lip color has dried a little bit more, like it's dried a little bit matte. If you know what I mean, like it's not as glossy as when I first applied it. I'm going to take some highlight. Just pop that on my inner corner. I really love this nude actually. That is so pretty. And it's just got like a little bit of shimmer to it. Really comfortable to wear on the lips. I mean, you could even use like a darker lip liner on the outer edge. I could even make an ombre lip. I feel like with a smoky eye, like nude lips or even red lips look really good, but you don't want to go too over the top. So I think I might leave it at, at the nude. This is pink champagne. Really, really nice. It's not too nude either. So this is the finished makeup look with MUD Makeup Design Makeup. Really impressed with how it turned out. And the foundation actually did darken up to match me pretty well. I feel like the coverage of the foundation and the, the face products turned out really, really well. The concealer could have had a little bit more coverage in it, but the powders are really nice. This palette was amazing, especially the highlight. Wow, that was so good. I liked the brow product, that was nice. It's, it's just a bit of a different product, but super easy to use, to be honest. Just be careful with a bit of fallout. It did, I noticed, make a little bit of mess on my desk and um, on my shirt, so just be careful of that. But it was a really nice product and you know, like my brows look really good. I so far really, really like this. I was a bit hesitant because of the shimmer in it, but it looks really nice. The eyeshadows weren't my favorite part, but the eyeliner, the pencil eyeliner worked so well. And yeah, really impressed with this makeup. Considering the price points of them, like they're pretty much all under $10. 
The only thing that was over $10 was the eyeshadows and they were $12. So I think considering everything is of that really quite low price point, the quality is absolutely amazing and I was very, very impressed. I think the results speak for themselves that I was able to do a full face of makeup and I feel like, well, this look is, you know, something for probably nighttime, like a nice smoky eye, but I feel like take away the smoky eye and the lashes and you could just do quite a simple day look with this makeup as well. Also, you could just have one layer of the foundation instead of two for a lighter coverage. But yeah, don't forget to check out my first impressions of the foundation, which I'll have out in a few weeks. But yeah, so impressed with this range of makeup. Have you tried makeup design products? I would love to know what you think. Leave a comment down below. Maybe this might inspire you to try some of their products. Uh, considering you can just pick it up with your groceries from the supermarket. Um, I think that it's a great range. So many of these little companies are coming out with really great products, which is really exciting. So that is it from me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I'll leave a playlist of my one brand tutorials linked down below. And I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.